Yeah, I thought the only missing part for Chelsea, I thought, was Aubameyang's finishing. I yeah. felt the one where they had about 15 passes and it, it gets played across from him from Havertz. I feel like a sharp striker takes the right touch and dinks the keeper there, finishes it. Maybe that's what Chelsea are missing, you know, to um, go for the title. But the way they're playing, you know, you wouldn't want to get them in the knockout stage in the Champions League because they're playing some good football. They get a chance to rotate players, make some mount on the bench. Yeah. So um, they're looking very good. And Havertz, you know, he's starting to score these oh, no, screamers. Gab. Tell you what, though, guy. Tell you what, Gab. Um, first, probably the first thing reason I spoke about six o'clock this morning. The quality of the two finishes, even yeah. Kovacic and Havertz, brilliant finishes. Yeah? Kovacic is that player that doesn't get the the plaudits he deserves. <laughs> Whenever he's on the ball, he's like clever. Always wants to play. Clever. Always wants the ball in any positions. He? He's very good at running with the ball as well. Yeah. And if he can add more goals, it'd be even um, better for Chelsea. And they're looking like a, a, a real good team at the moment. I think you're right. I, I, that's what I said to to, to Laura. I, I I think they're one of the. Could they win it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely they could win it. Yeah. 100% they could win it. I, I, you'd have to say you probably still fancy City as favourites, but could Chelsea win the Champions League? No doubt about it. And I think they're looking really, really good. I think Potter will be delighted with the way things are started. I mean, quietly, he'll be very, very pleased. That and things he's are not afraid, I like about Graham Potter, he's not afraid to play the players he wants to play. Even Kula Bali's not been great this season. Mm -hmm. and he's not afraid to say, no, you're not playing, I don't care if you've yeah. come for a decent amount of money. I'm going to play players that I think can get me the best results and you can sit on the bench, whoever you are, which is needed, isn't it, at a big club? Kepa's had a revival as well, hasn't yeah. he? How yep. big is that So for goalkeepers? Because we know a lot of their game is based on confidence, isn't it? And um, he's been through quite a lot in his Chelsea career, hasn't he? Yeah, I think at the start, you know, he, he did deserve to be dropped. He was making a lot of howlers, you know, was giving the, um, the ball away as well when he's playing from the back. But Mendy was that poor that I think he had to be dropped Mm -hmm. You know, giving away silly goals with his feet, he wasn't great as well, Mendy. And that save from Kepper against Aston Villa, Ali Law, did you see it? Tremendous. From Jacob Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. It was, it was behind him. I, I don't know how he saved it. Tremendous save. So it shows me confidence. You know, um, when he's confident, he's high. He's a top keeper, and I think it'll be hard for Mendy well, to funny, get that shirt back. You, and you look at the back three as well, obviously, where Rudiger going to be who I thought would be a big miss, yeah. and I still do think there's a miss, Christensen to a lesser degree. If yesterday, Chalaba, Silva, Cucurella. Yep. It's amazing. I mean, Thiago Silva's the one for me that is just. He's con I knew he was a good player before. I've got to say, and everybody's question, you know, how old is he? How, how long can he keep it going for? He is a class act. Yeah, and I think it's the experience he brings as well to that back line. And they didn't look like the Miss Kulabali, did they? For nope. me, Ali, I've been watching him at Chelsea, and he doesn't look like he's right at it at the moment, Kulabali. And Graham Potter's probably seen that and thought. I'll play players that deserve to play. It doesn't matter if you're a new mm. signing, come for a decent amount of money. Talk to me about Kovacic's goal and how difficult that is to take. I think it's one of them goals, Laura, that if he tried that again, he'd probably miss kick it. <laughs> you know one of them goals, Ali, if you're weak of foot, where you're just like, you know what, let me just try and side foot it, get some um, precision it. on it. And outstanding mm. goal, but it's one of them that you try and train, Ali, and you'll miss on your weak foot, the, you? the first, no, the first twice I saw it, Two times I saw it. Yeah. I thought from the other angle he hit it with the outside of his yeah. left foot. I thought he'd stabbed at it. But when I saw it from behind the goal, dear mate, he opens his, himself up and it, he's got it to, to get the direction, change direction on it. He's, he, because he hits it with that foot, he's not going to get a lot of power on it. It's all, all about the direction. I, I think it's tremendous as well, though, Ali. Do you think, like, if, say, if a Bamiyang tried that last night, he'd probably miss. I don't think he tries it. Yeah, but he doesn't try it, yeah. but if he does, he, he, he miss hits it because confidence in the football is I think I think with the likes of uh, Bamiyang, he, he, he's almost looking to get the perfect mm, strike, the perfect yeah. goal. Mm. Yeah, agreed. What about City? Did you watch that game? Watch that one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lucky enough to to get home for that after the um, the skating. For me, City weren't at their best. You know, Haaland and Cancelo were poor, but Pep said after the game, you know, they both had um, maybe the yeah, flu, um, injuries. Problems. And knowing Haaland, he's thinking, my old club, I need to play this game. But really, deep down, he should have probably saw the doctor and said, you know what, I don't feel up to, up to this game. But yeah. If City had to win last night, Laura, I think they would have won. You know, if they needed to win so, to uh, qualify, LA, they would have yeah. stepped it up a gear. Kevin De Bruyne didn't start. They were a different team about yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva as well. So, Do you know what it was, Gab? I yeah. thought uh, it's the first time I've seen City in a long, long time look to me as if they're kind of playing within themselves. Mm. You know, I, I, I'm with you, mate. I thought 
you know, if they, if they had to go and have, find another gear, I thought they were more than capable exactly. of it. But looking at Mares, again, talking earlier on this morning, it's oh. funny. I, I didn't, he's, you just don't fancy him. No. You know when he's getting up to take the penalty? You know with some players you say, well, you fancy yeah, him. No. And I think the penalty yesterday as well, Ali, like the way he hit it, I feel like I always like the penalty takers who... They can whip it, you know the yeah. Harry Canes. Yeah, whip. whip they just base. whip it, and yeah. and 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 you to keep keepers got no chance. With Mares last night, he sort of tried to smash it, hasn't yeah. he? Not in the corner, he's perfect to drive high it, for the he? keeper. He's to drive it. And I, I said that him um, to George outside that they need to sort it out because it could come to the knockout stages and it's a penalty shootout. And if your confidence is down and you're on the pitch, Mares or other players that have missed penalties. You know, that could be the difference with winning the Champions League or not by a penalty shootout. So they need to get that right. Is it 21 or 25 penalties they've on missed, the pep they've missed? Yeah. 25 That's out of a lot, Ali. Absolutely. That's a and lot. Mahrez has missed three out of four. I've missed one in the is reserve it? team game. You only missed one penalty? In the reserve team game. But I only took one. Doesn't yeah. count, now. <laughs> <laughs> keepers not big in that goal, Ali. When you step up, Laura, the keeper's not at you. like, where do I put it? <laughs> um, just to let you know, this is what Pep Guardiola had to say about Erling Haaland. He said three things. I saw that he was tired. Uh, secondly, a bit of fever in his body and that he had, a th- he had a knock on his foot as well. That's why he uh, was unable to play in the second half. He said he doesn't know the scale of the hurt at the moment. He did speak to the medical staff at half time, and they were a little bit concerned. Um, but he said he saw him walking off at the end, so hopefully he'll be all right. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.